Just at six, stopping wrong way drivers before they kill someone. Texas leads the nation with more than 800 wrong way crashes in just the last six years. They usually happen when it's dark. About half the time, the driver is intoxicated. KXN's Amanda Dugan shows us the changes TxDOT is making in the Austin area to prevent drivers from going the wrong direction. Signs like this one. Alerting drivers they are going the wrong direction can be found all over town. After a jump in the number of wrong way collisions around the state, TxDOT thinks making those signs more visible, especially at night, could prevent more crashes. The standard height for signs like this one is seven feet. However, this sign will be remounted so that it stands three feet tall, making it more visible to drivers at night. Texod hopes signs that are lower to the ground will help prevent wrong way crashes from happening more often. Some Austinites think it'll help make a difference by keeping Austin Road safer. I know it might be kind of annoying to have big signs, but I think it'd be helpful just as a warning for everybody. We don't yet know if all wrong way warning signs around town will be adjusted. Cities like San Antonio and Dallas have installed sensors that immediately alert drivers when they are traveling the wrong way. Tommy Yates lives in Dallas and says they've been a great addition on the Dallas roads. Oh, certainly for my family, it, it makes me feel better if they're traveling and, um, you know, any, anything that we can do to, to catch that, whether it's... Uh, drivers that are under the influence or whether it's elderly drivers. The new sign along the southbound 35 frontage road near 32nd Street will be installed on Thursday. Amanda Dugan, KXA News. And we asked TxDOT about adding the flashing wrong way warning signs you saw in the video. A spokesperson told us they are not planning on installing those similar signs in Austin, at least not right now. We plan to press them for more specifics later this week. And here's why preventing wrong way crashes is such a high priority. Texas A&M's Texas Transportation Institute looked at the data on hundreds of wrong way crashes in Texas. Half of them resulted in a death or a severe incapacity injury. They found 61% of wrong way drivers were under the influence. The biggest window for wrong way crashes is between 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning, and that is closing time for most bars.